I guess we'll go over some of the things that I was able to cop at SneakerCon. I didn't have a ton of time, but towards the end, it started to clear out, and I was able to walk around real quick and uh, get a few things. First things first, got one of these on my way out. Not sure what the company was, but pretty dope. Little uh, white cement four. I got it for Sebastian, but that's just been chilling on the couch. And then I was able to get a couple of uh, couple pairs of sneaks. So we'll start with these. Been eyeing these for a minute. Laser 4s. Let me turn the light away so you guys can catch the detail. Laser 4s. You've seen them before, but yeah, just, just they're just they're lovely, man. I've I've always wanted these ever since I've seen them. And I'll probably end up doing some kind of custom with them because that's the type of shit that I do. Uh and then I'll probably end up slanging them, even though I should keep these for myself. I really like them, so who knows? I might keep them for myself. But got those. Then got these bad moves. The Jordan 11 Lab 4s. Um, these are the ones I'm throwing the Yeezy tabs and Yeezy straps on. So these already have a plan, and these will be lethal once I'm finished with them. Um, they're already a dope, dope shoe. And since I seen them, I had plans of doing just that to them. So Beat to Heat, he's uh, making the custom tabs right now. Um, and as soon as they touch, touch ground, man, I go to work on these. So be on the lookout for these because these will be on sale. And I was able to cop these thanks to Steve from Rejuvenator. Uh, luckily, we were, we were we were at a table right in front of them, um, and uh, he had a bunch of he had a bunch of kicks over there, a bunch of bunch of heat, bunch of fire, and uh, went over there to ask him what he wanted for these, and he hooked me up for retail, which is super dope. Wasn't expecting that. Actually, I was. Steve's a good dude, and he always does shit like that, but. Um, I wasn't sure if they were his or not, but man, these are, these are chunky. These are dope. I'm, uh, definitely going to customize these. Not sure what, what direction I'm going with yet, but these will be the first custom that I do for myself and that I keep and that I wear. Um, believe it or not, I've never done one for myself. I just, I'm so indecisive and they take up so much time and I just really haven't had the time because I'm too busy doing everybody else's shit. But these I will do for myself and I will wear these. You will see these on feet and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I don't, like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet because I never expected to have these. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of paying resale, especially on like crazy crazy shit that that people are making like 50 to 100 percent uh profit on but thank you steve i was able to get these for retail and uh i will be doing something vicious in your honor and i will be wearing them so these are dope um so those are what i got at sneaker con then Um, earlier in the week, I was talking to this chick that's kind of fell on hard times on Offered Up, and, um, you know, I was trying to connect with her because she was going to buy me a, uh, she was going to sell me a stand, and it was like a, a van stand or something, but for, to display shoes, and it was made of wood, so I figured, man, let me get this stand, and, um, 
I'll check it out. I'll see what it's what it looks like, see what it's built like, and I'll build myself a few more. So I was really excited about that. And then she was like, "Well, I have some shoes too. If you you don't mind taking a look at them, and um, you know maybe maybe you you'd be interested." So I was like, "Sure, let me see them." You know. So Friday, I was able to cop these. I didn't I didn't uh, get a chance to show anybody yet, but they're pretty cool. So, let me see. These first ones, replacement box, but they're pretty funny. Um, bam. Okay, these are uh, Jeremy Scott, I believe, poodles. Uh, Adidas. But look at these things, man. These are crazy. They're super crazy. Basically, I told her, look, yeah, they're cool. Let me get them off of you. Um, I'll hold on to them for, you know, a month, two months. Um, maybe you get back on your feet and uh, hit me up, and I'll just sell them right back to you. Um, but she gave me a pretty good deal, just in case, because I told her. I was like, look, I don't fit a nine and a half. Nine and a half isn't my size. If... If for whatever reason you're not able to get them back, I need to be able to make my money on them. So, um, look these up. It was on eBay. Uh, There's really not a lot to go off of, but you know. So I got these. These are pretty cool though. I actually tried them on, and they're a little snug. But if I wanted to, I probably could wear them. So we'll see. Maybe one day you'll see me rocking the pink poodles. And she also had these. These are cool. Again, these are uh, some Jeremy Scott shoes for Adidas. Um, they're like sharks. They're all glittered up. As you can see, they got like a shark fin, but it also looks like the back of one of those uh, old school, old school, old school, old school. Uh, cars and they got the lights and the lights actually light up there's a little button right here and they light up again these are nine and a halves and uh, I was able to try them on and they're really snug but they do fit so maybe you end up seeing me wear these but if she doesn't end up getting them realistically, I'll probably cut these off and put them on some snowboard boots that I'm working on. So, we'll see. These next ones, I was pretty excited about. I haven't really heard much of them, but they were the only, the, they were the only ones of hers that I was able to actually find something and uh, go off of. So, these ones right here are uh, SB Concepts. They come in this cool box. And uh, they're pretty dope. They're like diamond almost. They change crazy colors. SB Concepts. Um, one's red, one's blue. They both like make crazy colors. They come with red and blue laces. And then they had these uh, lace locks here they are. And they're skull lace locks. And they're iced out bottoms. I mean, they're, they're, they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. Um, and again, tried those on just real quick and snug, but they fit if ever I needed to wear them. But hopefully she can get back on her feet and just get them back off me. I'd be okay with that. But yeah, so I caught those. Those are pretty dope. So yeah, all in all, it was a cool weekend, man. I, had, I was busy, and um, so there were some people right behind us um, selling shoes, and they also do like sneaker laundry. So they, they it's basically like a a laundry mat or a dry cleaner for your sneakers. You go in there and you get your sneakers clean. They also sell sneakers, um, but I'm headed there in a little bit. Got my new uh, British Customs Supreme mock shirt this is just an iron on that i made just wanted to see how it looked and uh, i kind of like it so you'll probably see this one in production as well 
But yeah, so I'm gonna head over there, go see what they're all about. They wanted to uh, see about maybe doing some um, some customs. They talking about like a window and zoo animals and customs and this and that. So yeah, so I'm gonna head over there right now and uh, I'm gonna make another video for that. But you guys have a good one. And we'll see you next time, man. I'm just crazy. It's crazy. Got to get, got to get ready for this competition. Got to get ready for this competition. So it's gonna be a, a crazy couple weeks, but I'll make sure to check in with you guys and give you guys some content. All right, cool. Thanks for following. Uh, subscribe, like. British Customs at British Customs, uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter. Tweet me. Subscribe like follow everything you gotta get you gotta get me up man you gotta you gotta get me up you gotta hype me you gotta get me there um i'm putting out crazy crazy customs and, and I, I need you guys to help i need you guys to help get me get me to that next level man so i try not to bug but get me so subscribe like comment follow British with two T's, customs with a K, just like this, at, 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 at. Go get me, man. Go get me. So I'm here with Damon Ruff, owner and founder of I Sold, I Sold My Soul. So what kind of things do you offer here at I Sold My Soul? So pretty much in most cases, the whole concept of the store is just uh, providing like sneaker cleaning, uh, sneaker laundromat for like all your mesh shoes, basketball shoes. Bring back the shoe shine concept with just going towards more athletic and trying to help the sneaker heads out. Uh, we do financing as well when it comes down to financial shoes. So in most cases, if you've got $300, you know, short on your Jordans, we're going to try to help you out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in most cases, too, you're selling footwear, premium footwear. Uh, so what that does is it kind of just helps the demand increase the attention to be able to come to the store. And that's kind of like what we use is pay, to get people in and kind of educate them more about shoes. Great, great, great. So you say you finance, so that means you sell shoes here as well. Indeed. Okay, okay. Do you, uh, are you a reseller? Do you... Do you, is that, I, don't know, I just want to provide. I just want to provide what my customers need. You know, I just want to kind of be that one-stop shop when it comes to anything that has to do with their feet. You know what I'm saying? So if I can get shoes, if I can finance them, if I can sole swap, restorate them, fix them up, whatever it is I got to do. Okay. So now, when cleaning a shoe, um, what kind of things should you do to so you so you don't so you're not messing your shoe up? Right. What what, what kind of steps do you need to take? when cleaning a shoe? Well, just straight up moisturizing it. You know, um, whether it's a dress shoe, you use saddle soap, whether it's a sneaker, obviously you use an advanced cleaner that's gonna get in the pores of the leather and kind of restore it at the same time as the oxidize and clean it up. So in most cases, when you apply something like that, it's always good to even put a, like a mink oil on it to kind of protect it, um, or a water protector, anything like that. Uh, but in most cases, that will help, you know, the wear and tear just as much because your shoes break down from sweat and it breaks down from dirt. 
So at the end of the day, if you got moisture that's always in your shoe, constantly beating up that shoe, that's getting in the pores of the leather, and that's what's causing it to dirty, get dirty. Great, great, you know right, 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 so right. Most cases, when it comes down to you know reinforcing the shoe, that's the point of cleaning the shoe. You're reinforcing, so therefore it doesn't get as dirty. Absolutely, anymore. absolutely. Yeah. Same thing in customs. I mean, yeah. protecting your shoes is that's, just, that's the name of the game. Exactly. Um, do you suggest cleaning your shoes after every wear, whether it be a light? A right. light cleaning or a full cleaning? Well, if you get a deep clean on a shoe, re realistically, it's just like a haircut in the lineup, you know? When you get a deep clean on a shoe, it should hold you up for about a week or two. If it does not, in most cases, every time you take a shoe off, it's good to wipe it down with a hot rag. Just put them back in the box, you know? Right. If, you, if you take them off or if you if they are dirty or you wipe them down, it's good to take them off and just put them down on a vent and let them dry itself back out, too. So it's just multiple ways to help reinforce the cleaning perspective so right. they're not always get messed up. Perfect, perfect. So now, like you and I, we probably have multiple pair of shoes yeah. um rotating your shoes to, yeah. keep, to keep them going longevity what what kind of system do you have as far as uh rotating your shoes right so in most cases i worked high in retail for a long time so that was one big one big thing about like uh, nordstrom we'll just go ahead and say that name because i represented it for a while but like you know when you worked in nordstrom it was four pair of shoes it was a lifestyle shoe a sandal a dress shoe and a fancy shoe so like right. in my in my thinking it's kind of like that's what they're teaching people you always want a flip flop. You always want a casual shoe. You always want a good dress shoe. And you always want a good sneaker. So rotating your shoes, more li realistically, uh, a man sweats uh, three cups a day average in his feet. A woman sweats about a cup and a half. So in most cases, when it comes down to restoring, you know, the cedar shoe trees is kind of what helps absorb moisture out your shoe. Technicality of a shoe is shoe tree, cedar. So that's what's helping all that moisture come out of the shoe. So rotating your shoes, if you're constantly wearing those shoes without putting something in them, you're just beating them down, beating them down, beating them down. So it's good to have about two or three shoes. You know what I'm saying? Realistically, for most people that don't collect shoes, when people collect, they only really collect them. You know, when you're right. wearing a good pair of shoes, it's gonna have a black pair, a brown pair, good sandal, and then pretty much another sneaker. You know? So it's kinda like you, you rotate. You're supposed to rotate that way and keep the last of the shoes. Awesome, man, awesome. Yeah. So needless to say, you know your shit. You know my stuff, man. Okay, well that's good, man, that's good. <laughs> Um, so where are you located out here? Uh, 1934 East University Drive, Tempe, Arizona, 85281, uh, located right next to Geno's uh, between McClintock and the 101. Perfect, man, perfect. Yeah. All right, well, you heard it here first, so get out here, get your shoes clean. Come mess with us, man. We Buy got some you. shoes. We got you. One-stop shop, you Try heard it. Try to increase your fresh, man. <laughs>